Yeah, Tansel run a fairly short rotation this weekend, and Fabro's been one of the key pieces off the bench as she gets the steal there, straight into the game, into the action. And then down the other end, finishing off the nice pass from Reed. So Tansel running that transition offense beautifully. There, she's guarded by Brendan, and now Rintala, Reed, now Pacey for three, and buries it. Oh, she's feeling it this morning. Great job on the minute she's had so far on the court. Oh, and now Steph Reed. Is sneaking in from behind. And the reverse drops home. Gee, she does well, Steph Reed. Contorts her body in the key way. Uti. Oh. Great move. Yeah, but nice shot would drive go. inside. Yep, couldn't get it to drop. And then look at that Tanzel transition offense down the other way. Yeah, I think she's over there on the bench with the uh, warm-up shirt on. So Not a good sign. No. It's Reed drives in with the left. Beautiful finish there, Steph Reed. Personal for UT, but they've got Kelsey McKay on four fouls, and Tyler and Keely Pierce both on three. The Bearcats is great find from Reed. And Murray drops it home. Uh, Woods back off to Reed. Too far away from deep and buries it. Reed with the ball here. Waiting, waiting, testing the D, driving inside on the left, and all too easy for Steph Reed. No help defense from the Bearcats. Be desperate for a stop here. Browning gives it back off to Reed. She pull up for three, knocks it down. Second, second triple of the quarter for Steph Reed. Take it to the 20 and 10 game with this final possession. She will fire away from three again, buries it again. So Steph Ray with the final basket of the quarter. It is now a 30-point lead.